This is M45. Welcome back to BT Van. Joining us via satellite right now is a man that loves his hockey cards. Who didn't back in the day? Ken <laughs> Reed, anchor from Sportsnet Central. And you loved your hockey cards so much, Ken. I'm holding up the book, True Tales from mm -hmm. Your Favorite Players. All kinds of great stories. And I know you give a shout out to your mom in the book, but where did the true idea for this book come from? You know what, Riaz, as I got older, my cards stayed the same age. I, and I'd look at them when I'd go back home and I'd think, geez, you know, I, I didn't really think much of the fact that this uniform was a different color. And then I'd catch on to the fact, wow, that's airbrushed. Or, wow, why does that guy have curly hair when he naturally has straight hair? And things looked a lot different back then. So then I thought, you know, pictures worth a thousand words. I can say what I want about these cards, but what would it be like to catch up with these guys all these years later and let them tell me about what was going on on their hockey cards and I unearthed what I think are some pretty interesting stories so uh, voila started typing away and I got a book you know and I think you, you say it right there every hockey card's got a story and now uh, let's talk about the airbrushing because I was kind of surprised when we uh, were, were finding about how the photos were altered uh, the great Don Cherry uh, we've got his a uh, photo of the hockey card tell us about this because you interviewed him for the book yeah, my whole thing is who could tell Don Cherry how to dress? Because Don Cherry knows how to dress. He's his own man. But if you look at his old hockey card, he insists that Opeechi airbrushed his tie on that card. Opeechi changed the color of Don Cherry's tie. And I just think that's outlandish because nobody should tell Don Cherry how to dress. So that picture was taken the day Don was hired as coach of the Bruins. So he takes us back to that day, gives his thoughts on the fact that somebody actually acted as Don Cherry's fashion police. I think, you know what, that inspired the revolution of the outfits that we see today on Coach's Corner with Don. And on a local scale, Ken, a uh, big name for us, John Garrett, uh, obviously playing uh, in the city and a great color commentator. Uh, tell us about his card and some of the stories he shared with you as he looked back. Oh, I had to get Cheech in the book because his final card's a beauty. He's skating around, you know, he looks like that mid-80s backup with the white towel on. But when you look at his card, it says, now assistant general manager. So I'm looking at the card and I'm thinking, well, John Garrett was never the assistant general manager of the Vancouver Canucks, so I called Cheech up, got the story. It's a fantastic story of how that ended up on his card. And years later, he still had to deal with it, had to go on Wikipedia and change the fact that I was never assistant general manager of Vancouver, and it's all because of that hockey card that that got out there. And he also has a story, which is pretty cool, about playing in nets in the Quebec Coliseum with a hot dog in his pad. So get it by the book, right? He loves his hot dogs, and I know you were a big collector back <laughs> in the day. Uh, when we look at hockey cards, I think it was it was something different to everybody. One, it was the card. Maybe you got it for the gum. Maybe you got it for the sound mm -hmm. and your bike spokes. But for a hockey player, a hockey card was a special form of validation. When you look at your entire collection, what was the hockey card that meant the most to you? For me, the one that meant the most was the Gretzky rookie card. My brother and I got it. My mom brought home a box of cards that she got from an auction in a little town called Westville for 10 bucks. And my brother and I never had the blue 7980 Gretzky. We called it the blue one because it had the blue border. So we hunted through this box, and about halfway through, we found this old Gretzky. It was beat up, had a marker on the front of it, but it was a Gretzky. So, of course, we looked at it and off for a minute, and then... 30 seconds later, it was a fist fight, right? Who owns the Gretzky? So mom said, boys, you share that card. And to this day, my brother and I still split custody of the Gretzky rookie. So it's in my house right now, though. And it's a family affair. What did mom say? I know she was a big part of the book. What did she say about uh, your latest piece here? Mom loved it. Mom's a big part of this book. Uh, it's, it's almost an ode to mom in a way, because if it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't have kept all my cards. I wouldn't have got so into them, I don't think, the way I did. So mom, mom probably bought me a lot of these cards in this book. So mom was really proud of it. She made the thank yous. All right. Well, Ken, good on you. Uh, 59 interviews, Phil Esposito, Bobby Orr, Don Cherry, the list goes on. Congrats. A great passion project. Thanks. Appreciate it.